Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to October of 2022. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please keep in mind, Libra, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. This does not have to necessarily resonate for you during the month of October, even though this message is coming through for October. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Um, we could be speaking to a cross watcher, keep that in mind. So just, to just place this in your life as it fits. Okay, let's get started, Libra. What do we got for you? What's going on? What's going on for Libra? First card is the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like, um, first thing I feel with this card is that everything is up in the air. The dynamics are changing is what I'm hearing. There might be a lot of chaos in your life right now, or at least it seems like there's a lot of chaos right now. It, uh, honestly, like it's just like on the surface, it may seem chaotic. It may appear to be chaotic. And yet in this, you feel pretty stable. You don't know how things are changing. You know, don't know what's going to happen. <clears throat> in some cases I'm hearing, you don't even know what is happening. And yet you're grounded, you're stable, you're fine. I feel like you've been through a lot. And a lot of what you've been through up until this point has prepared you for something like this, has, has prepared you for, oh, oh. Okay, well, what I'm hearing now is great change is happening, but all of the change that is happening now in your life is a direct result of all the growth and experiences you've been through. And so that's why it feels like you're stable throughout this change. For some of you, it feels like it doesn't even matter how things are changing. It's just, just the fact that it's changing for the better is a good thing for you. And okay, and that's why you're like, all right, cool. I can rock this out or I can ride with this. I can roll with this. Okay. Change for the better is happening. Or at least at the, at the very least, you're just hoping for change for the better. Excuse me. All right. Um, and then with that, you have, you have quite a few cards here, but then after the Wheel of Fortune comes the Nine of Pentacles. Um, so you may be, part of the reason that you feel stable in this change is that you're financially stable. Or at least you, you're, you're, you're in an independent energy and there is a belief and an understanding here that you will be able to handle whatever comes up. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles technically would speak to some sort of some sort of physical financial stability potentially. Um, but really the dominant feeling that I'm getting from the Nine of Pentacles is just that you're stable and solid within yourself, physically speaking, and you know that you are capable of handling whatever comes up and you're willing to handle whatever comes up. Next card is the Woe. Okay, the next card, oh, uh-oh. Okay, the next card is the Queen of Wands, but the Queen of Wands is reversed. And then, oh boy. All right, so it looks like we're talking about a relationship here because then you have the Two of Swords, the Lovers, and then the King of Wands, but the King of Wands is upright. Um, this literally feels like so now, now this looks and feels like um, the Nine of Pentacles energy is speaking to being single somehow. And I feel like dominantly here, what I feel like is the Queen of Wands might be you. Um, and the Queen of Wands is reversed. And you have in between y you or maybe not. I mean, it, Libra, you're either the Queen of Wands or the Cross Watcher is the Queen of Wands or something like that. But in between you and technically your counterpart, I'm gonna say that, I'm gonna say your counterpart here because it is the King of Wands. Whether you actually believe this is a true counterpart situation, a soulmate situation, what I'm hearing is at one time you once were this person's, this King of Wands counterpart, but now there is a blockage between the two of you. I don't feel like the Queen of Wands reversed is a bad thing, Libra. 
what I feel like is the queen of... You, oh no, you won't... Yeah, you can kind of see them. You hear those birds? Sorry, guys. Um, you know, that's actually, that's actually really interesting because the, I don't know what kind of birds those are, um, but they're a very popular bird here in Puerto Rico. Um, they would be kind of equivalent to like the, we used to, call, I used to call them the McDonald's finches. You know, those little finches that fly around and they're always like scavenging for food and whatnot, whatever. Those birds are very similar to the, those back home. I'm from New York. Um, and what was just happening was, I've noticed with those birds that, that, you know, they fly around in pairs sometimes and one of the birds squawks like that, but then follows the other bird around. And it's almost as if that, that bird is asking for is asking for food, is asking for sustenance or something like that. And so one of the birds is like squawking and like saying, I want food, I want food. And then the other one walks around and it looks like that other one is maybe looking for food to potentially feed that other bird. That's always the, the image that I've gotten or that's the understanding energe energetically that I've gotten while I'm watching those birds just do that naturally. It comes naturally to them, but that does apply to the energy that I'm picking up on here. And that's kind of what they were communicating to me. And that's what I'm saying here. The Queen of Wands reversed doesn't feel bad. It feels like she is out. She's done. She doesn't want any more of this. And in between her and her counterpart, the King of Wands, there's the Two of Swords and the Lovers. There is a level of denial here. And so what, I, what was happening with those birds right there was kind of confirming what I'm picking up on in some way, in that the Queen of Wands would be that bird that's that would be walking around looking for the food while the king of wands would be that other bird that's following the first one squawking saying at least whether they're saying they want food or not they want some sort of attention and that's what this king of wands is doing he's trying to find you he's trying to get your attention he still wants something from you maybe he still wants this relationship to happen but for some reason the queen of wands here is not having it i'm not doing with this doing this with you buddy is what i'm hearing you, either you're the queen of wands or you're the king of wands take it as it resonates okay overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the nine of swords so okay um this definitely i mean we're talking about a relationship here most likely romantic but Again, take it as it resonates. And this situation is changing or your reality is changing because someone is, in some cases, I want to say someone is finally deciding they want nothing to do with this anymore. And probably for good reason. They're independent now, or at least in terms of this relationship here, the Queen of Wands in this energy is, feels like, as far as she's concerned, or he, doesn't matter, take it as it resonates. But as far as the Queen of Wands is, is concerned, she's single. And she wants nothing to do with this queen, King of Wands here. And I really want to know why. Now, this also may be a type of situation where, a cyclical situation where y'all do this all the time. That's what I'm kind of getting also with the Wheel of Fortune. Or maybe that's just been the nature of this relationship. In and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. I feel like also, I kind of feel like this might be a game that someone is playing. At first, I was more inclined to take the side, I guess, of the Queen of Wands. But now as I'm, as I'm speaking through this, And feeling through this, I'm almost kind of inclined to take the side of the King of Wands because I do feel like somebody's playing a game here. And the Queen of Wands reversed might actually be, actually be someone that is not in the best orientation or alignment. The Queen of Wands reversed could be, could be an extremely manipulative energy. So this might be a, a reading for someone who is potentially cross-watching or has a partner or a connection with someone 
that would represent the King of Wands energy. Take it as it resonates. And this is describing the nature of the relationship with you that you have with this person. This King of Wands who is chasing after someone who potentially might be, or, or no, someone who either they want to be their counterpart or they feel that is their counterpart but are having difficulty and trouble with it because it's actually not really a true alignment. The dominant thing that I'm feeling here is that somebody who's watching this reading and is resonating with it isn't necessarily either of these people. But the person that they're watching this reading for is this King of Wands and you're watching or they're watching this King of Wands chase after someone who is just not in alignment for them. But also what I want to what I want to say is not right for them. Okay. So let's 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 get deeper then. I, the first thing that I want to look at is the Queen of the energy of this Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands reverse, please? The world. The seven of wands. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. But the knight of swords. And... No, the knight of swords is upright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the two of cups. And the two of pentacles. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Cups. First thing that I'm feeling here is this is confirmation that this Queen of Wands reverse may be an energy, uh, the energy of a person that is just done with this relationship, done with this situationship. Okay. You do have the world. Uh, okay, you have the world, the Seven of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Two of Cups, and then the Two of Pentacles. It could very well be that this Queen of Wands reversed is just done with this relationship. But what I feel like is really happening here is the universe is saying to the King of Wands here that this situation needs to be over, needs to be done. There is some sort of denial going on here. And the dominant feeling that I'm getting from this is that in terms of the energy of this Queen of Wands here, I feel like there needs to be a boundary that is, needs to be held up. But the dominant feeling about this boundary is that you need to just, or this person just needs to be done with this situation and not continue to chase after them. Not to try to win them back, not to try and reconcile, not go, because this does feel like a dynamic in which y'all do this all the time, or this has been a common theme from this situation. And as I'm speaking through this, I'm still more inclined to take the King of Wands side, even though he or this person, the King of Wands here might be choosing to continue to pursue this situation And I want to say maybe the King of Wands energy is, you know, maybe their heart is in the right place, but mm, no, not exactly. You would be much happier or this person would be much happier if they were to just hold the boundary and stop chasing after this Queen of Wands reversed. The Queen of Wands reversed may also just be an archetype. It may not be one specific person. It may be... Um, an energy signature, a type of person. The King of Wands here feels like someone that is going after someone who may seem like is their counterpart, but also doesn't necessarily give them the time of day. And I kind of feel like the King of Wands does deserve better. I just heard hold the line. So maybe you are holding the line. Or maybe you need to hold the line. You need to hold your boundaries. You need to, I literally hearing you need to stop chasing after this person. Let's look at the King of Wands then. But also, let, let me also show you the cards. <laughs> you, like I said, you have the world and the Seven of Wands. And at first, that's what was saying to me. Either this Queen of Wands in reverse is done and over it. Or... This person is, I'm hearing, manipulative 
and you need to, or whomever the king of wands here is, you need to be done with this. You need to allow yourself to move on from this. You need to just, just stop and hold your boundaries and be like, enough is enough. We're not doing this anymore. But then after that come, came the Knight of Swords, confirming that there is some sort of pursuit here. The, the Knight of Swords is a shoot first, ask questions later type of energy, doesn't really think about it, just goes for it. Blindly chasing after a situation, but, but the, the feeling, but also then that takes me to this Two of Swords here that's in between the King and the, and the Queen. There is a level of denial. There's a level of denial about something. And then you have the Two of Cups and Two of Pentacles. And this is, this is, a, this is kind of confirming an energy of waffling back and forth. Yes, you have this connection with this individual, this Queen of Wands reversed, or this Queen of Wands. If this is you, if the Queen of Wands is you, then yes, you have this connection with the King of Wands here. But maybe the Queen of Wands is reversed because she's out of alignment and she keeps going back and forth. One minute I want this, the next minute I don't. And then you have the Ten of Cups as the overall energy. Um, this might be family. This might be someone that you have wanted to start a family with. Um, your, idea, or your, your desire is to have a family. And while on the surface, or maybe, no, maybe underneath the surface, no. There is something about this person might, I, I, I get this feeling, it's like maybe the reason why someone is chasing after this or is experiencing or uh, like projecting some level of, not projecting, is holding a level of um, denial because they keep saying to themselves, well, if so-and-so would just clean up their act or do X, Y, and Z, we actually could be perfect for each other. We could be that, that dynamic duo, but there's denial about something here. And it's not really all that healthy to be like, well, if so-and-so would just clean up if so-and-so would just clean up their act, then everything will be okay. That's not healthy. Because in that case, you are putting it all off on the other person. Instead of saying, instead of remaining in this independent state, being like, either you get it together or you don't. But I'm not gonna be bothered by it. So then that takes me back to the energy that I was picking up on in the very beginning. Maybe you need to be stable on your own. Maybe you, maybe you need to just pull back or fall back and be like, look, either homeboy or homegirl is gonna get it together and we're gonna do this or not. But either way, I'm not gonna allow myself to be bothered by this anymore. I'm gonna move on with my life because if this person doesn't do it, then someone else will be able to. That's really what needs to be embodied here with this Nine of Pentacles energy. And that may be what this message is for, for somebody, whomever this is resonating for. You've got to let go of this. And I feel like you've got to let go of this in order for yourself to be happy. Period. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Show me the King of Wands then, please. Who's this? The Hierophant. Tradition. This might be a long-standing relationship. This King of Wands, because the way this is, I know you guys can't see the cards, but the way this is laid out, the Queen of Wands is reversed, and then the King of Wands, and then between that, between the King and the Queen, is the Two of Swords and the Lovers, but the King of Wands is looking directly at that Queen of Wands energy, who is reversed. So either she doesn't want anything in, from this relationship here, or she is not right for him. Excuse me. But there is a level of tradition here. And this also could be a long-standing relationship. This King of Wands energy is very commitment-oriented, has been committed to this, and is not going to give up without a fight, or is very committed and loyal to a fault. Which makes a lot of sense, because the King is a fixed energy. And in terms of the fire signs, that would be Leo. Leos can be 
extremely loyal to a fault. Sometimes. I mean, any fixed sign can, or at least might have the propensity towards doing so. But what this feels like here, first card clarifying the King of Wands is the Hierophant. There is some sort of commitment that is desired and or required. You might actually be married to this person, but there's some sort of commitment energy that is not really allowing this King of Wands to give up. King of Wands. He may also want a commitment from you or from this Queen of Wands, but ultimately I feel like his, his desire for commitment really has nothing to do with the actual person. He just wants to be committed somehow. That's the only card that came out. He just wants to be committed somehow. And this is kind of, this is kind of confirming my feelings of this King of Wands here. This King of Wands could also be you, Libra. It doesn't matter. Take it as it resonates. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a man. It's the commitment energy and it's the persistent energy that's really coming forward the most from this King of Wands. It's like this King of Wands is looking for commitment and or love in all the wrong places. Or at least when it comes to this person. And now that I'm feeling through this even more, I feel like now you're at a point where you can start to see if you were to open your mind or open your eyes, you could start to see that, wow, yeah, this really is not gonna work. and really should not work, actually. Should not be pursued any longer. I don't know why, but that's the feeling that I'm getting here. I'm feeling like at this point, over all this time, now you know, or at least you should be able to really confirm or, and or understand that this might not be the person you wanna commit to. And actually, if you really allow yourself or if this person really allows themselves to see what's really going on here, this person could end up dodging a bullet if they choose to let themselves out of this level of denial. The overall energy clarifying the King of Wands is the Empress. There's a feeling here of of wanting to, and maybe even being able to, give their partner everything with this Empress energy. But this Empress energy also feels like a, a level of enablement, enablement. And now I'm hearing denial. This person, this King of Wands energy is coming from a mind space of, well, and a belief of, well, anything can happen. Yeah, you're right. Anything can happen. But I feel like at this point, the universe is starting to try to say to you, sure, anything can happen, but is this really what you want? If you really want commitment to Hierophant, then why are you going to try and dig your heels in and stubbornly pursue someone who is constantly showing to you that they are not that commitment material? Let's talk about this denial then. Two of Swords for Libra. What's this denial? The King of Cups. This is definitely loyalty. Loyalty to a fault. You have the King of Cups, you have the Three of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. And then overall energy is the Knight of Wands. I really feel like this Knight of Wands energy that's overall here, clarifying the Two of Swords or clarifying this level of denial, I really feel like someone is foolishly carrying the torch of love for someone else who does not, who potentially what I just heard is does not give them the time of day and maybe may have learned or experienced something in the past that is helping them say or understand or feel like, Oh, that's love. That's love. Really? Someone not giving you the time of day, someone berating you, ignoring you, 
taking advantage of you, that's love? No, that's not love, darling. It's not. The Two of Swords is a level of denial. And what this, what someone is denying here is the fact that they need to pull themselves together, be emotionally mature enough and be emotionally mature enough to look at the situation as it currently stands and make the appropriate choice. Do something that they know they don't, well, that they feel, they know they don't necessarily want to do it. They know it's gonna be difficult to do it, but it's the right thing to do, so you gotta do it anyway. And I will say that this will be leading to your happiness ultimately, because first of all, well, let me say this. What needs to be done here is you need to look at, you need to be emotionally mature and aware enough to look at where you're going and what it is you want to achieve, what it is you want to receive, what it is you want to be receiving as a return in your, of your investment. <clears throat> and if you see plain and clear, which I feel like you do, if you see plain and clear that you are not going to get what it is you do require and or desire, you're not, you are not going to be returning or receiving the appropriate return on your investment, then you need to stop investing in this and walk away. But this is the not, this is the denial. And this King of Cups energy feels like a double-edged sword. So while technically it feels like you need to stand up and do the right thing for yourself, even though it's difficult and walk away here, this King of Cups energy also still feels like that persistence to, to, to be emotionally, romantically connected to a Queen of Wands or a person that is just not it for whatever reason. I don't really wanna get into what the specific reasons as to why this Queen of Wands is reversed or is not the appropriate mate and or partner for this king. This is a general reading. I could be sitting here for days. But also, it's not important as to why. Or maybe at least at this point, it's not important as to why. She just isn't. Don't worry about the why anymore. Someone is denying the fact that they know they need to walk away from this. Okay then. So let's look at the world, not the, not the world, excuse me, the Wheel of Fortune next. The Wheel of Fortune, what's happening here? Libra, for the most part, I do feel like I'm speaking to a masculine or a man, um, or at least this is, this is a reading dominantly for a masculine energy that I feel like many of you might be cross-watching for. Or even if you're a woman, you could be this masculine energy, or at least you could be expressing this masculine energy right now, okay? The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Three of Pentacles, Justice, and the Ace of Cups. And, and what I want to say about this, Libra, is that, well, first of all, Libra's showing up here. Justice. Okay. Um, I feel like you're gonna be rewarded somehow, but it's not from this individual. I feel like the work that you have done to build yourself up to this point of really truly desiring and or wanting a commitment is going to be rewarded. The work that you have done for yourself to be available and or ready for this type of commitment is going to be rewarded. But part of the reason why it feels like this King of Wands is constantly or consistently pursuing this one individual is because of time. Either you've been through a lot with, with each other or you've just been together for so long and you don't wanna give up. 
This is not the only individual that you could have in your life to express or have this, com this commitment with. And then, there's, then we're back to the Empress. But in order for you to receive this justice, this balance, you're gonna have to get yourself off of this karmic hamster wheel. So really, it feels, dominantly, it feels like Libra. You or this person really needs to allow yourself to be, to stand in your stability, to stand in your abundance. Remember, in the beginning of the reading, I was saying the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Pentacles. Something is changing in your life, but it feels like you're solid, or at least you are able, capable of riding it out or moving through the change and the, or the transition. So either you are stable and are, you are okay and this is some sort of confirmation that you need to let go of whatever it was you have been pursuing because something better will be able to come forward to you either it's confirmation of that and you can move forward with it or that's your message allow yourself to ride out this transition because you are stable secure foundationally or at least within yourself enough to move through the transition and allow the space to open up for someone who is in a much better in alignment with you and what it is that you want the commitment that you're looking for to come into your life you're going to receive it this is like that phrase from the field of dreams if you build it they will come if you build the foundation and or the structure within yourself to be able to have this type of commitment that you were looking for, then you'll be able to receive it. Someone is really digging their heels in though. And whomever it is they are pursuing consistently or at least have been pursuing consistently, the, un the universe is saying your efforts are fruitless. This really isn't the right person for you. This really isn't the right person for this commitment. And it may very well be, Libra, that the reason why you, that you've been, because I am feeling like, dominantly I'm feeling like there, it's really just a matter of time. You guys have been together or doing this, going through so much over such a long period of time. And it may very well be that you have or this king of wands has grown and or evolved throughout this relationship and or circumstance and has gotten better has has become more stable is more foundationally prepared and or ready for the commitment that is desired but the other person the queen of wands who is reversed is not in alignment with that i feel like somebody here has outgrown this relationship and is ready for something more, ready for something new, ready for something deeper, ready for a greater level of commitment. But what you need to understand is here that there is someone else that is really going to be an appropriate match for that commitment that this King of Wands is looking for. You just have to own up, fess up, you just have to be accountable enough to say, okay, I see what's going on here. And you know what? Maybe it's time to throw in the, 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 throw in the towel. But you're not giving up. You're not, you're not losing anything. You're bowing out. Because the dominant feeling here is you will be able to have or find the individual that is, align is in alignment with the commitment that you want. You just have to release yourself from that which is not working. That who is taking that person that is taking up the space that would be better filled by someone who is more appropriate and, and capable. Okay, closing message for Libra Death. Death with the Four of Pentacles, and the overall energy is the King of Pentacles. This is your closing message, Libra. You or this person needs to let go. Let go of this that you're holding on to. 
allow yourself to transform out of it. Because you are, in fact, this type of commitment energy. And maybe, maybe it's that you were in this situation with this Queen of Wands. I'm talking to the King of Wands here. You were in this situation with this Queen of Wands and at one point you guys were counterparts. At one point you guys aligned with each other. But things have changed. And the dominant feeling here is that things have changed because growth has happened. And now maybe you're not really a King of Wands anymore. Maybe now you're a King of Pentacles ready to settle down, ready to have a solid, stable commitment, ready to do the work, ready to build a relationship with someone, ready to build a life with someone. So maybe at the very basic level, maybe you're not looking for a queen of wands anymore. Maybe now you're looking for a queen of pentacles. Either way, you have got to let go and allow the situation to transform. I just saw five, five, five on the counter, okay? death with the four of pentacles you have to allow yourself to let go of this things have changed you have changed and instead of trying to make something work from the past that you are literally no longer in alignment with allow yourself to let go and move forward towards the situation that you would be in alignment with now okay libra i'm gonna leave it there Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. I love you. I'll see you later. Bye.